Good morning, everyone. We're back on your Wednesday, keeping track of this weather. Yeah, we're still awaiting a big storm. Aaron, what can you tell us? Oh, well, we've already got that light snow that's been falling across the Kenai. Some areas of blowing snow. This major winter storm, uh, depending on where you live, will bring heavy snow, rain, and strong winds. We've got a blizzard warning uh, for Thompson Pass, uh, where we could see one to two feet of snowfall with gusts up to 45 miles per hour. That will lead to reduced visibility as well. And of course, the biggest issue with this storm will be hazardous travel uh, in the form of blowing snow, heavy snow, ice, and flooding. And the flooding. Uh, that is set to occur into the overnight hours. Notice across the state, lighting it up in, in, in the form of a multitude of weather alerts. We've got uh, wind advisories through the interior, high wind watches along the Arctic Slope, and then here in South Central, uh, we've got several weather alerts. We've got blizzard warnings, high wind warnings, uh, winter weather advisory across the western Prince William Sound, eastern Kenai, uh, winter storm warning for the Copper River Basin with some of the heaviest snowfall expected near Eureka, and then of course Anchorage is up under a flood watch, and that goes into effect this evening. That is due in large part to those warmer conditions that we are expected to see uh, across South Central. As far as what we're dealing with this morning, though, uh, you can see rain building in across Prince William Sound, out towards southern parts of the Kenai. We've got some rain beginning to build in as well. Uh, we're going to see here within the next hour or so some light snow building in across uh, the Anchorage Bowl. Biggest issue that we're going to see with this storm is that area of low pressure uh, where it uh, where it really is going to set up shop. If we see this. Uh, area of low pressure take more of an approach towards uh, the uh, uh, more of approach towards uh, Prince William Sound. We're going to see more in the way of snowfall because temperatures will remain uh, on the colder side. However, uh, what we're looking at right now is this area of low pressure is going to take more of an approach towards Anchorage and then right through the Anchorage Bowl as we head into the evening hours. That will actually lead to some warmer conditions. And as it does that, uh, we're going to see that transition from snow to rain uh, occur later this evening. So expect primarily snowfall for the Anchorage Bowl, Western Kenai uh, through the first part of the morning. If you live out towards uh, Prince William Sound, heavy rainfall and winds expected uh, into the valley. We're actually seeing temperatures in the 40s and the 50s. So you're primarily going to see rain with this event uh, as temperatures are entirely too warm and will remain warm uh, into the evening hours. Our touch of warmer air here in the Anchorage Bowl will arrive uh, as well as Western Kenai will arrive into the evening. And there there it is. You can see that area of low pressure uh, taking more of an approach towards the Anchorage Bowl, meaning overnight we're going to see that transition uh, occurring from snow to rain. That is when that flood watch goes into effect, as we'll see ponding on the roadways. Uh, that rain will melt that snow melt and lead to uh, hazardous travel conditions across South Central. Uh, with all of that said, we're still expected to see several inches of snowfall with this system over the next 24 uh, to 36 hours. I would not be surprised uh, if the Anchorage Bowl sees five plus uh, inches of snowfall. Uh, as we welcome in our Thursday and Friday. The heaviest snow will occur over the mountains, uh, Thompson Pass, the Kenai Mountains through Seward Highway uh, as well. This is where we certainly want to watch for some early season avalanches as well. As we're talking about the Chugach Range, could easily see feet of snowfall with this system while at the surface. That is where it's really challenging. But the overall trend is snow, rain, uh, windy conditions. We've already seen some areas of blowing snow. Uh, that's going to stick around and gradually taper off through Friday. You can see those highs near 40 and then tapering off back near freezing by the weekend. All right, thanks.